Popular Front of India calls for ban on Hindutva forces, holds protest in Bengaluru with the BJP demanding a ban on the Popular Front of India PFI alleging it is involved in terror activities especially on the coastal belt of Karnataka, the PFI decided to do the same while protesting. At the town hall in Bengaluru, they held placards calling for a ban on the BJP, RSS, BHP, Bajrang Dekalider and all Hindutva fascist forces in the state. Speaking to India Today, Waisam Ahmed, a member of PFI spoke about various issues that the organization faced. He said all Sankarivar groups are involved in illegal activities and are targeting the PFI. He added there were several cases against the RSS in the union and state governments. We are not calling for a ban on the BJP. We want a ban on the RSS which is BJP's backbone. Shibha Karan Dalaj is more concerned with the PFI than with her own party, the BJP, he said. Speaking about the Rudresh murder case, he said that the National Investigation Agency NIA took a year to file a charge sheet and one PFI member's name was present. We still claim he is innocent but he has been accused, Hamid said. Accusing the BJP of forming its government based on lies, he said even the Prime Minister was involved in the Gujarat riots and there were several cases against Amit Shah as well. RSS killed the father of the nation and are the biggest terrorists in Hindustan. If Chief Minister Sagora Mata wants to ban any organization, then let him take a decision. People involved in terror activities will face the consequences, he said. Hamid said the PFI wasn't against Hindus but against Hindutva and its fascist ideologies. PFI's political wing will take a decision on whether it will support the Congress or not in the upcoming election, he added.